Hi, this is Professor Gallant, and I'm going to show you how to download and um, save your files and turn them into JPEGs, because remember, you're supposed to be recording all of your images um, as raw files originally, and then, um, you know, uploading um, JPEG versions of those images to the web and to um, through Angel to me, so that I have them for your grades. So let's get started. Okay, the first thing you're going to want to do is connect your camera through a USB, um, a USB cable, which you can get from our lab from Tom or Steve Fox, um, Tom Wills or Steve Fox, and um, yeah, go ask them for one of those when you have your camera, and uh, and connect them to the computer. Don't have your camera on when you connect to the computer, but um, after you've connected it, turn it on, and all of a sudden. Most likely what will happen is your program iPhoto will open. What might happen is Bridge will open with Photo Downloader, which is a little bit more than what I want you to go into right now. I want you to kind of keep it simple. So um, if that opens, just close it. And um, Bridge is this application right here. I'll just open it so you can kind of see it. And Photo Downloader is connected to that. Um, if that if that opens, then just ignore it. Um, wait for it to actually get open here. But anyway, it's it's a great application, but it, it's something we might get into a little bit, a little bit later. But um, or if you take uh, Photography Two next semester in the fall, um, that might be something we do. But Right now, it's really not important. It's not primary. So anyway, I'm just going to minimize that. Right now, over on the side over here, we have connected um, the Canon camera. And this is the Canon um, EOS 7D um, over here. So, um, and it says right over here, as I highlight over, it says 15 images. Um, some of these things are movies that I took. There's my son, Lorenzo. Uh, but there's some other photos in here that I've taken. And... If I wanted to download them, all I would simply do is click on the ones I want to download and hit Import Selected. You can import everything, including videos, if you can take them or choose to take them with your camera. Um, but I like to kind of go through and pick exactly what I want to, to download because they actually do take up a lot of space. Remember, once again, you're supposed to be recording these files as RAW files. Um, your, all your images are supposed to be shot in RAW format, not JPEG. So um, they take up a lot of space. But anyway, highlight these and hit Import Selected. It will import them into an event or a folder. Um, and this is one of the things I talked to you about also. Delete photos on your camera. Um, two photos were success successfully imported into iPhoto. Do you want to delete them now, now that they're in iPhoto? I wouldn't do that just in case there's a little bit of a problem. Sometimes they've been known, these programs have been known to delete the photos and then delete the photos off of your computer too. So I would keep the photos and delete them later out of the camera. So click that. You have some images here and um, you know, you can go in, you can edit them. There's some great uh, little editing um, adjustments here. You can change the exposure, you can change the contrast, um, you can reset it, go back to where you were, uh, you can change the color temperature, um, you can do lots of different things. You can even um, do a little retouching, um, you know, you can zoom in on things, um, you know, you can uh, change the size of this, you can get rid of, you know, little marks, um, you know, blemishes, things like that if you want to. Uh, you can crop or whatever. There's so many things you could do here, but basically um, you're not really concerned with that right now. You're just concerned with bringing them in and cataloging them, saving them as JPEGs. So I'm going to say that I'm done with that. Say you wanted to save these two um, images as JPEGs. Okay, so all you have to do is go over to File. You have them both highlighted here. Um, do that by clicking on one and then hitting shift and clicking on the other and it'll highlight both of them. Um, 
click export out of file there. Go over here, the kind of thing you want, the kind of file you want to save it to is a JPEG. It's very accessible. Most people use JPEGs. You can look at JPEGs even through browsers um, on your computer. Um, and you want a high quality JPEG. Um, you don't want it as full size, you want it as large. Large should be more than enough for the things you're going to be doing. High quality and large, so I can see the quality of your photo. But it's a little bit, it's actually a lot uh, smaller than the, the uh, raw file that you originally had. And that's the real purpose behind it. You can adjust it so that, um, you know, you have a medium size, medium quality JPEG if you're having problems uploading. But try to have high quality large on JPEGs and that should be good. Um, and this just really dumbs it down for you. You don't have to worry about dimensions or anything. Um, trust me on this. Okay, so JPEG high, large, export. Where do you want to export this thing to? Well, I have a folder already set up with some other JPEGs. Um, and I have it here on my external card. Um, this is a jump drive that I have that I am storing things in. And I want to, you know, I want to store it there because that's something I control, I have, and I, I can always access from home or school, whatever computer I'm at. That's a good idea. So anyway, uh, I'm going to choose this folder right here, the Siegelant folder that I have in my external hard drive, which is right over here on the desktop. Click OK, and there it goes, exported them. Um, so now they're right over here, along with everything else. There's one, and there's the other. And, you know, I'll click on one of these right here so you can kind of see. Pretty, pretty large. Um, um, you know, pretty uh, high quality photo. Um, not going to have any problems seeing that on um, Flickr or whatever, printing that out as a little 5 by 7 or something. Um, it's pretty decent. It gives me a good idea of what you're doing, and um, that's enough. So uh, there's those JPEGs, but the thing is that you don't want to throw away, you want to kind of take off the card the raw folders, or raw files too. And so right now, these are the raw files that you imported, right? So if you want to bring them in as originals um, so that you can save, save those, um, they'll be just things you have for later on if you need them. Um, this is what you should always do. Save your raw copies and save the JPEGs that you're going to ship out and send and put up on Facebook or put up on Flickr. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here and click these both again. I can get these to both. And... Um, hit control and click on your mouse um, and you'll be able to see um, this little drop down menu and it's also the same as right clicking on something so if you're at a PC you can do this that way too but of course PCs don't have iPhoto only Apples do so this is how you have to do it so hitting control and clicking your mouse will right, right click and uh, it'll show you this little menu you want to go to show file because you want it to show you where these photos are. So right here you can see these are the raw files and you can tell they're raw because the extension at the end is CR2 which is Canon's proprietary um, means that they only use it, it only works with them. Um, raw file extension name CR2 just like JPG CR2 is their little file extension. So grab that and go over here go into originals and dump those over there. Just drop it and dump it right there and it'll go right in there. So now you have the originals of all this stuff. Right? And here's some other ones that I have from before. Um, I'm going to grab all those. And I'm going to drag them over here. And they're all going to go in over there. So now all this stuff is my external drive right over here. Okay. Um, over here you can... S nope. It's gone now. But my camera is probably turned off automatically. So I can detach the camera. Um, I have everything in iPhoto here and all I have to do is just go to Flickr and upload my videos and then go into Angel and um, send me the photos attached to one of those Dropbox messages and boom I'm done. So that's really it. It's not that hard. Um, iPhoto is pretty easy to use. Um, you just highlight them, import them, um, go up to file, export them, 
Expect, export them as high quality large JPEGs. Save them in your little thumb drive so that you have them. Or if you have to store them in your space on your um, on your um, server space in the computer, you know, my extension would be C Gallant. Um, Stephen Lee would be S Lee. You know, all these people, um, you know, would have their little normal extensions like they have for their email addresses. And then you're good to go. Um, but back your stuff up. Make sure that you have copies of it because if you need it for another assignment or a final assignment or something like that, you don't want to lose it. That's it. Talk to you later.